So recently, I've been getting into My Hero Academia, and this left me thinking: What if I could combine the stories of My Hero Academia and Dragon Ball Super together? That is what we'll be exploring today. Let's get straight into the video. So we start off at the end of the tournament of power. Universe Seven has won, and Android Seventeen is the last man standing in the arena. As we all know, he decides to restore all of the universes that were erased by Zeno. However, this led to certain complications. Instead of just thirteen universes now, there were twenty-six universes. It turns out that some of the universes that Zeno erased a long time ago were also restored by this wish. Grand Priest was in deep thought, so he decides that he will consult the Zenos about this matter. After some discussion, Grand Priest finally comes to a conclusion. He tells Goku that representatives from each of the twelve universes would be sent to to explore. And observe these other universes for a ten-year time period. This left Goku shocked and stunned. Ten years was a long time. However, with courtesy of some angel magic, all representatives sent to the universe would not age during this ten-year time period, and they would be returned to the same time they left. And Grand Prix even gives them one year to say their farewells to their loved ones. And now, the moral arc will begin. The moral arc quickly takes place during this one year time period. And now, we finally get to the time where they leave to the MHA universe. So, who would go to this universe? Of course, we have the entire Sun family, minus Videl and Pan. Gohan was specifically interested because he was a scholar and was very interested in the multiversal theory, and he thinks that studying other universes could lead him to certain conclusions. Meanwhile, Bulma was also super interested as well. He wonders what technologies these other universes offer and whether she can combine her technology with those other technologies. And she also forces Vegeta and Trunks to come along. Now, Grand Prix suddenly appears out of nowhere, ready to transport them to the other universe. He teleports them into one of the cities and tells them that their main goal was to analyze and find out why the mortal levels were so low. Grand Prix gives them a key and some cash, only enough to sustain them for a year, and then leaves. Leaves them in this unknown universe. Goku was pumped up and excited. He wonders whether there were any strong people there that he could fight. So, Grand Prix drops them off around one year before the entrance exam into U A. So, Chi Chi obviously still forces Goten to study and decides why not enroll Goten into a school. So, Goten actually ends up being classmates with Midoriya and Bakugo. As Goten enters the classroom, Goten greets his new classmates. So, Goten's quirk is super strength, super speed, and super endurance. However, this means that Goten can't turn Super Saiyan or fly because it doesn't align with his quirk. During during his time as a student, Goten actually makes friends. With Midoriya, and they heat it up pretty well, and are able to converse with each other. Of course, this is the time where Midoriya is training under All Might. Midoriya tells Goten about the school he wants to enter, U A, and Goten decides that he wants to enter the U A as well. I mean, he has nothing else to do in this universe, and this would serve as a pretty good main objective. Of course, Bakugo. Isn't particularly happy about this, 
but it's not like he has anything he can do to stop Goten. Of course, Goten tells this to Trunks as well, and Trunks decides that he will want to try for the entrance exam as well. Chi Chi actually encourages this behavior, as he realizes that pro hero equals money, and they don't even have enough money to sustain them for 10 years. Of course, Bulma also continues her own business, selling capsules and other things from Capsule Corporation, and she earns a lot of money. She also wants to see whether she can combine the technology from the different worlds together to make new products. Of course, Goku and Vegeta also continue their training. One day in school, Goten talks to Midoriya about Ki, and Midoriya is actually really interested about this. So Midoriya actually follows Goten home one day after school and meets Goku. Goku wants to teach Midoriya how to use Ki, but Gohan steps in. Gohan tells Goku that the Grand Priest has told them not to teach anyone how to use Ki because this could potentially throw off this world's history. So Gohan decides that instead of teaching him how to use Ki, how about he teach him the academic knowledge behind Ki. So Gohan sits down on the sofa and talks to Midoriya about Ki. And after Midoriya leaves, Midoriya was thinking whether he could improve his own key somehow and become even stronger so that he wouldn't let down All Might. During a conversation with All Might during his training, Midoriya accidentally spills out the idea of key to All Might. And All Might is very, very interested in this concept. If what Gohan says is true, then if he could harness his own key, he could still be a pro hero even after he loses one for all and still could continue being the symbol of peace to the people in the universe. And now, finally, Chi Chi decides that she would take the family's livelihood into her own hands. She has decided that she would step up and become a professional hero in order to earn money for her family. How will these events unfold? Will anything be significantly changed? Well, you'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Academia.